What's up guys? Today is June 8th and that marks one day out from the NGA Southeast Natural Championships. Um, and this video today is going to be all about peak week. Uh, there's four main topics I want to cover. Uh, water manipulation, sodium manipulation, uh, carbohydrates, and my supplementation and workouts. So the first thing I want to cover is water manipulation. So this week I went from Saturday up until Thursday drinking two gallons of distilled water and today Friday I bumped it down to about a gallon maybe a gallon and a half depending on how thirsty I am and then tomorrow show day I'm gonna be drinking anywhere from half a gallon to a gallon now the purpose of me increasing water intake at the beginning of the week is to get the body used to kind of filtering out and pushing out around two gallons of water and then as I cut back on the water the body's still accustomed to pushing out more than a gallon and a half of water a day so by dropping the water my body's going to continue to push out water and in doing this it is going to pull it out from my stomach but also my muscles and although it's going to make me look flat at the beginning of the week uh, that's kind of the purpose of it you want to deplete, get as much glycogen out of the muscle as possible, kind of just drain yourself at the beginning of the week. Um, sodium, sodium manipulation, uh, I'm not really going to do anything with that. Uh, I know some competitors do it, they try to spike their sodium right before they get on stage so they can get that crazy pump or get that crazy vascularity look. Um, but I've seen with me that I just kind of form a film of water and I lose any kind of definition or vascularity so I kind of try to stay away from sodium. Um, carbohydrates, uh, like I said today's Friday, one day out so I've started loading carbs today. I'm going to have anywhere from 300 to 360 grams of carbs today and tomorrow I'll probably end up around 400 grams of carbs before getting on stage uh, and they're going to be kind of dry carbs kind of white rice uh, sweet potato fries uh, rice cakes and maybe right before getting on stage a rice crispy bar but the purpose of carb loading is the muscles store carbohydrates in the form of glycogen and glycogen needs water to kind of stay full and be stored in the muscle so as you remember from the first part of this video since I am cutting back slowly on water water will be retained after carving up in the muscles making it look full but where's that water gonna come from the subcutaneous layer of skin so yes carving up is important for a show uh, you do have to be lean enough for it to play in it a big role in how your physique looks um, but yes carving up especially on clean and dry carbs um, it kind of helps go straight into the muscle and sucks up as much water as possible um, supplementation I started my diuretics on I think it was Saturday uh, I use Cellucor Super HD water which just has a bunch of natural herbal roots and flowers just nor normal natural diuretics uh, I continue taking my fat burner uh, I cut out all protein shakes we don't want any artificial flavorings any artificial sugars or anything this last week um, continue drinking my BCAAs my bodybuilding.com signature series pre-workout um, I believe that's it vitamins multivitamins fish oil uh, one thing I did continue to take, which I haven't taken for my last two shows, was creatine. And now, creatine is also stored as creatine phosphate in the muscles. Now, creatine is known to kind of suck water into the muscles, making it fuller, recover faster, greater strength in your workouts, greater recovery. Uh, it's got a very big misconception of making people look bloated, watery. 
uh, but that's not the case. Creatine doesn't get stored anywhere except for the muscle. Um, and lastly, the workouts. Um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday were normal workouts. Saturday I hit legs. Sa yeah, legs. Sunday I hit chest and shoulders. Monday I hit back and traps. Tuesday I did arms. Wednesday was a light 30, 45 minute leg circuit because I was very, very depleted by then. So it was just a light circuit to kind of get in the gym, kind of deplete and kind of dry out any last bit of muscle that I had in the legs. And yesterday did an upper body circuit, same thing. Um, cardio, cardio this week, I took out all HIT cardio, and for those of you who don't know what HIT is, it's high intensity interval training. It's typically a shorter duration of a workout. Normally my Stairmaster lists cardio is low intensity steady state cardio. Usually lasts anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes, whereas a HIT cardio session lasts anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. But the intensity is higher with interval sprints and different resting times and everything. So it kind of causes you to spike your heart rate and bring it back down, spike your heart rate, bring it back down, et cetera, et cetera, which is typically known for a greater source of fat loss, whereas low intensity steady state, it's not immediate. It's more throughout the day as your body recovers from the long cardio session. Um, but yeah, other than that, talked about my workouts, supplementation, water manipulation, sodium, carbs, but uh, I think that's it. Yeah, Peak Week I think is very overhyped, overrated. I highly suggest that you keep everything the same. You've been prepping for however many weeks, 10, 12, 16, 20, however many weeks you've been prepping, and you've seen your body get better, you've seen it get leaner, you've seen it get harder. Why would you change anything? The only thing I really changed was cutting my protein shakes out and my water. But diet-wise, kept everything the same, didn't introduce anything new. Uh, you know by this time in prep what foods react well in your stomach, what makes you bloat, what makes you flat, what makes you full. So really, you take the time at the beginning of the prep to do all your leaning out and you find all the foods that work for you. And by peak week, you should know. You should be lean enough, and you should just know what you're gonna eat, what kind of cardio you're gonna do, how your workouts are gonna look. And another thing that competitors don't do, which bugs me a lot, is practice your posing. Practicing your posing is vital during peak week. Not only peak week, you practice all throughout prep, but especially peak week because if you go on stage and you haven't practiced your posing, sure, you may have done a 20-week prep, but you're not gonna be able to show all the work that you've put forward because you don't know how to display it. And that's something I take a lot of pride in. There is an award at this show given out, and it's the best poser award. It's a sword, and that, that's what I'm going for. I really want that sword. I've practiced so much on my posing, my posing routines, and I've put in a lot of work, and I know how to display my body, and I know it's an art, man. It's really an art. Like, bodybuilding, you're the artist, and your body's the canvas. You could be a great artist and have a great thought up here, but if you can't execute it, what's the point? You're just gonna chicken scratch on stage. <laughs> like I like to say, and you're going to embarrass yourself on stage. So, yeah, those are just the things I've been doing this peak week. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably do a video after the show telling you all how I placed. Uh, probably post some pictures up showing you guys what I look like. But everything's falling into place. Woke up this morning at 167.0, which is the lowest of prep. And... My weight cutoff for classic physique is 172. So I'm gonna be able to eat freely all day today, carb up at my own my own pace. 
um, and not have to worry about exceeding the cap, which this is the first time I've had to make weight for a show, and it was kind of, it was hard, but I like a challenge. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, tomorrow's show day, man. It's here. 139 days worth of work. Tomorrow will be 140, and gonna enjoy every minute of it. I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna worry if I'm not conditioned enough or anything, which I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, today's check-ins, polygraph exam, uh, your analysis, weigh-in, tanning, and that's it. It's just rest and eat until show day. So I hope you guys have liked this kind of series that I've done. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys after the show. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the views and thank you for the likes. And uh, let's go kill it this Saturday, man. Let's go. Godspeed. Thanks for watching.